Aries, hello beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. If you are interested in scheduling a personal reading with spirit and I, all of the details will be down in the description box below. And for even more empath energy, gotta check out my husband. He is amazing and truly a business genius. So if you have business questions, go and see him. You will absolutely love him. His information is going to be down below. But without further ado, let's dive right in. So we have the Eight of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles coming out as your overall energy. So it feels like right now there's something that you're debating of walking away from. Perhaps it's a business that you have been um, involved in. Perhaps it is a particular partner in your life, a particular loved one. Um, but I feel like right now there's a confused energy of wondering what it is that you need to do. And the Spirit is always coming through and saying, as long as in your heart you have done the best that you could in this situation and you've come from a place of love, you've come from a place of lovingness and you've done everything that you could, then you can walk away lovingly knowing that it no longer serves you, right? However, if we have, are coming at all from a place of ego or from, you know, judgment or blame or, uh, you know, not taking responsibility for our actions and we're just trying to avoid the situation because there is, um, you know, something that needs to be addressed, that's when you want to just monitor that and take a look at that and just ask, have I done the very best I could from a loving, open heart? And am I getting everything that's necessary? And when that happens, then we release the energy that we keep ourselves in, right? Because at the end of the day, this is our human experience. This is our life. We've just got to make sure that we're doing it to the very best of our ability. Um, and that only means coming from a place of, of, of love. I feel like right now, you know, you would establish the... Um, desire that you would like the most i feel like that would be possible if you take a look and see where it is that you could improve some skill building or some um, knowledge to be learned i feel like there there needs to be a um i feel like there needs to be growth in your um in what you're learning and what you're studying in your um I feel like there needs to be um, more knowledge in the situation in itself, right? Like really taking a, a deeper dive into the situation in itself and just really reminding and, and tuning in with yourself and, <clears throat> pardon me, are you living by your truth or <clears throat> are you taking action uh, from an emotional place uh, is what the universe is saying here. So um, get balanced, get grounded, and know that there needs, in order for your outer world to see the results that you're looking for, your internal world needs to be viewed and needs to be looked at. I feel like there is something that the universe has been asking of you to, to take a look at. Look at that, right? Seven of Swords. I feel like the universe has asking, been asking of you to take a look at something that is almost like going against your your um, soul, your spirit. Like, what actions are you taking? What are you what are you doing that is going against your knowingness? And again, when we are calibrated to Earth's dense frequency, and we are absorbing this energy more so, or uh, too often that we forget what our true connection feels like, then what's going to happen is we are going to start making decisions that have been absorbed from maybe someone else's opinion or what someone else thinks we should do. And there are thought those, those thoughts will come in repeatedly, repeatedly and just enhance a belief we may have. Well, this person says this, well, this person does this, this person thinks this, you know, we keep thinking that. And that will greatly influence what, what our truth is, what our knowing is. And so the universe is asking for you to take a look at that now, Aries, and ask, are you living your life by your standards, by what you know to be true? And this is hard to disconnect from when we are so used to living our lives from a people-pleasing mentality. But that's why when we have that daily practice of meditation, of connect connection through journaling, automatic writing, and through a um, little bit of movement, you know, five minutes, doesn't need to be much, but something where we clear our energy, we do that for ourselves uh, in the morning is a great time to do it because the energy is still quite low, then we have that time for ourselves. And then we're gonna be able to get clear. We're gonna have clarity on where we need to go. And the universe is saying is that you're always gonna be guided towards what you want, which is happiness, love, abundance. It's always there for you. It's your birthright. No matter what you, know, you feel and think, it is your birthright to have whatever you want. And the only reason why anything is not in our lives is because we have not 
Uh, we have taken the response, we've taken the power out of our hands and we've placed it in the hands of everyone else around us, right? And we just got to take that power back. And so listen to your knowing Aries, listen to what the universe is asking for you. You know what you have to do. You know it, you know it, you know it. Your intuition is letting you know, can't fool vibration, right? You can say all the words you want. You can put on a fake smile to yourself in the mirror and tell yourself, no, you know, this is, I can make this happen. I can make this work but you know in your soul what needs to change. You know in your soul what needs to get done. And it's that feeling. You start listening to that intuitive hunch. You start listening to that intuition of yours and your life starts to change. Your life will start to change when you listen because it's going to lead you to celebration, foundation, success, happiness, romance, love. It's going to lead you to all the fruits of your labor coming to fruition. You listen to your intuition and all of your desires will come to fruition. It's just where it's at, right? I mean, there's a rhyme about it. It's just the best. So at the end of the day, trust yourself. Universe is saying, trust, trust, trust. It's going to lead you to a lot of new opportunities and a lot of new beginnings, a lot of happiness and a lot of passion. So you don't need to effort your way. You just need to let the way guide you. A lot of the times we tend to put our, our, ourselves in the place of the universe, right? Where we're trying to figure out what we need to do in order to get to these new beginnings the universe has all planned out for us. But in order for us to access these new beginnings, we simply just have to take a breath, relax, receive, and then enjoy, right? And that comes from just relaxing and really asking ourselves, what is it that I'm not listening to? What is it that I am not sensing or seeing here? And restructuring, re-strategizing, you know, your life so that you can have those results. Remember, life is meant to be lived simply. It's just, just simple. It's, it's, it's not many steps in, in each chapter. It's not that much. It's just a few things. And um, it, mind, body, and spirit, right? Mind, body, and spirit. And so we got to take care of our bodies, which is doing a little bit of exercise, a little bit of movement eating clean whole foods, hydrating foods, taking care of our vessel, right? If we're, if we're filling it full of junk and nonsense, then that's exactly how we're going to feel is about is junky and nonsensey. You know what I mean? So be mindful of that. Also spirit, we've got to connect with our spirit, right? Which is meditation, automatic writing, right? And then our minds, we have to keep our minds um, in occupied with, uh, with, with areas of life that leave us feeling satisfied, right? Mind, body, spirit, every single day, that's it. Check it off the list. What have you done for mind, body, spirit? Because it's gonna absolutely change your entire life when you start to implement these practices because it's gonna change your perspective. And right now it's just your perspective that actually needs to change. I feel like there needs to be more of a realization of what is actually important. Sometimes we're so busy in the yang mentality of divine masculine, action-oriented, let's go. Go. If we just go, it's going to get done. Go, go, go. Do, do, do. But the thing is, is that if we're not balanced with the yin energy of the divine feminine, where we take time to relax and receive, then we're going to be honestly in such an action based energy for far too long that we haven't stopped to smell the roses and actually see if what we're doing is actually what we want to do. Or if it's just a, no, this is it. This is what we're doing. If it doesn't work out, what are we going to do? This is it, right? We don't stop to realize, wait a minute, wait a minute. My intuition is guiding me down another path. And if I listen, I will be greeted with everything that my heart desires. But it's really that decision of stopping and listening because everything is your birthright, Aries. But it's in order to, to reach our salvation, it's a choice. The choice we always have except the choice is drowned out by our conscious ego trying to come up with all the ways as to why it knows better. But it's operating off a place of fear and illusion and your heart, your intuition is operating off a place of knowingness and trust and love. And that's why the universe is saying you have all the ability and all of the ammo to make your dreams real right now. But remember, you are a co-creator, which means that you do not need to do this thing by yourself, Aries. You need to listen. You need to be the co-creator that you are. Life is so much more magical when we listen. And it's hard at first. It is. But when we have the daily practice of meditation, movement, and journaling or automatic writing, then it feels way easier because we actually connected and we're like, oh my gosh, this whole time, that's what you were telling me? I couldn't hear it. I thought it was just like a joke. Oh, I thought you just said it was like a joke. You know what I mean? Like our thoughts in here and in your universal 
be like, no, we were letting you know this is the right path for you. And it'll be so clear because you're doing your daily practice of connecting, meeting the universe halfway, that connection will be solid. It will be strong. You will have an innate sense of knowing. It won't be like a maybe, is it? I don't know. Intuition, is that you? It won't be like that. It will be clear. It will be crystal. And remember, it's a practice. So the more you keep up with this on the daily, consistency doesn't need to be much. 15 minutes meditation, little 15 minute journaling session, automatic writing, right? Little five minute movement. It doesn't need to be much, but it does need to be there. And you imp implement this, you keep this as your daily discipline for your spiritual development and your life will change. All right, Aries, I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, share, and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.